It's finally here, everyone. Starkill Creation Kit has finally been released. And we are at last at the point where we can bring Fallout and Skyrim level mods into Starfield's open world. This is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I will provide you with what you need to start making amazing stuff and unlock Starfield's potential. Specifically, an automatic rocket launcher. Mods are amazing in Bethesda titles because they allow you to change the game however you want including adding new content. Well, there are already great mods out there for Starfield, including from the talented modder Stefan from Stefan Highlights, whose YouTube channel that I highlighted in the video description. There are fewer guides on how to get started on making. With my channel, I like to fix that. I aim to provide more focused and streamlined guides, which in this case is learning how to make your very own weapon mod for Starfield. If you want a more general and detailed guide, refer to DarkFox123's channel with a link in the video description. His content is great, and I referred to it a lot when I first got started modding Skyrim. Fortunately, using Starfield's creation kit is pretty similar to a creation kit for Fallout and Skyrim. For this video, we're gonna go from zero to giant explosions. We'll see how to install the Starfield creation kit, launch it and make our mod, load the resources that we'll need, make our new weapon, edit a few stats, and then package it so it can be uploaded to Nexus Mods, getting you some exposure for your creation. Exciting, right? If you have any questions along the way, leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. For step one, we need to install the Starfield Creation Kit. Search for Starfield Creation Kit on Steam and to add it to your library, then install it and that's it. For step two, you need to launch the Creation Kit. I'm assuming you already have Starfield installed, which is mandatory. When you launch it for the first time, it will take a little bit of time for everything to load up. This will fortunately only happen the first time. For step three, you need to create your plugin. Go to File, Save Plugin, then save your mod as desired, which in this case will be Armageddon underscore weapon dot ESP. For step four, we need to load in the Starfield game data, so we'll have the appropriate assets that we need to edit to create our mod. Go to File, Data, and select Starfield.ESM so there's a checkbox right next to it. The plugin that you're making should be set as the active file, but if not, there's a button there that you can use to make it that way. And click OK. It'll take a little while for everything to load up. Now we are ready to get going on making our mod. For step five, click items in the object window to expand the category and then select weapons. You can also search for a specific weapon using the item filter. In our case, we want the negotiator, which is coded as rocket launch. Once you find your desired item, right click on it and select duplicate and rename, making only one duplicate for this video. For step six, we want to rename your item so we can find it more easily using console commands in game. Double click on your rocket launcher 001 entry and then edit the ID to be something a little bit more unique, like Armageddon. I also named the weapon to be the Armageddon, so we can distinguish between it and the negotiator in game. Now we get to have fun and get to edit a few fields to make our weapon very unique. In our case, I want to make the rocket launcher automatic and I want to have be able to hold more rockets. So I go to the firing tab and change the firing type to automatic. And for the ammo capacity, I go to the ammunition tab and change the ammo capacity to 20. For step seven, it is finally time to test our mod. Save what you have and launch Starfield and get into the game beyond the tutorial. Your mod will already be in the appropriate folder for testing. Placing the custom weapon in the game world is really its own video. We're gonna give it to ourselves here using console commands. Press the tilde key and type help Armageddon. This will list all the assets in the game that contain that substring and you can use it for anything that you want including the amp and it'll make finding whatever you need a whole lot easier. With that accomplished now we can give ourselves our custom weapon and make sure that it works. Type player.addItem 
and then put in the ID for the weapon. And the ID is going to be those eight characters I show. And then you'll finally have it. Equip it and test it. You'll see that it works great. Modding is a lot of fun and it's a great way to share your creativity with others. Editing single fields for weapons is just the tip of the iceberg for Starfield modding. But you'll know if you looked at Nexus Mod and seen all the wonderful things that talented mod offers have made for Bethesda titles. You can be part of Starfield's growth in this great moment where the floodgates are finally open for doing so many exciting things. So be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to stay connected to content showing you how to make more of these really exciting things or just learning about content that will help you make more immersive mods. Thanks for watching and thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Starship out.